Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for November 13th, read by Charlie L. from St. Paul, Minnesota. AA Thoughts for the Day. Spiritual Life. The spiritual life is not a theory. We have to live it. Unless one's family expresses a desire to live upon spiritual principles, we think we ought not to urge them. We should not talk incessantly to them about spiritual matters. They will change in time. Our behavior will convince them more than our words. We must remember that 10 or 20 years of drunkenness would make a skeptic out of anyone. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 83. Thought to consider. Attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? Acronyms. KISS. Keep it simple, sweetheart. Just for today. Unconditional. From getting out of the if trap. But then, after a sober while... For some of us, there comes a time when, plop, a new discovery slaps us in the face. That same old iffy thinking habit of our tippling days has, without our seeing it, attached itself to not drinking. Unconsciously, we have placed conditions on our sobriety. We have begun to think sobriety is just fine, if everything goes well, or if nothing goes askew. In effect, we are ignoring the biochemical, unchangeable nature of our ailment. Alcoholism respects no ifs. It does not go away. Not for a week, for a day, or even for an hour, leaving us non-alcoholic and able to drink again on some special occasion or for some extraordinary reason, not even if it is a -a once-in-a-lifetime celebration. Or if a big sorrow hits us. Or if it rains in Spain or the stars fall on Alabama. Alcoholism is for us unconditional, with no dispensations available at any price. Living Sober, page 63. Daily Reflections. Looking Outward. We ask especially for freedom from self-will and are careful to make no requests for ourselves only. We may ask for ourselves, however, if others will be helped. We are careful never to pray for our own selfish ends. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 87. As an active alcoholic, I allowed selfishness to run rampant in my life. I was so attached to my drinking and other selfish habits that people and moral principles came second. Now, when I pray for the good of others rather than my own selfish ends, I practice a discipline in letting go of selfish attachments, caring for my fellows, and preparing for the day when I will be required to let go of all earthly attachments. As Bill sees it, Vision Beyond today, vision is, I think, the ability to make good estimates for both the immediate and for the more distant future. Some might feel this sort of striving to be hearsay against one day at a time. But that valuable principle really refers to our mental and emotional lives and means chiefly that we are not foolishly to repine over the past nor wishfully to daydream about the future. As individuals and as a fellowship, we shall surely suffer if we cast the whole job of planning for tomorrow onto a fatuous idea of providence. God's real providence has endowed us human beings with considerable capability for foresight, and he evidently expects us to use it. Of course, we shall often miscalculate the future in whole or in part, but that is better than to refuse to think at all. Twelve Concepts, page 41. Big Book Quote Practical experience shows that nothing will so much ensure immunity from drinking as intensive work with other alcoholics. 
Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, Working with Others, page 89. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Who am I to judge other people? Have I proved by my great success in life that I know all the answers? Exactly the opposite. Until I came into AA, my life could be called a failure. I made all the mistakes one could make. I took all the wrong roads there were to take. On the basis of my record, am I a fit person to be a judge of other people? Hardly. In AA, I have learned not to judge other people. I am so often wrong. Let the results of what they do judge them. It's not up to me. Am I less harsh in my judgment of people? Meditation for the day. In our time of meditation, we again seem to hear, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Again and again, we seem to hear God saying this to us, Come unto me, for the solution of every problem, for the overcoming of every temptation, for the calming of every fear, for all our needs, physical, mental, or spiritual, but mostly come unto me for the strength we need to live with peace of mind and the power to be useful and effective. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may go to God today for those things that I need to help me live. I pray that I may find real peace of mind. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Charlie L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.